the concept of hierarchy has changed not because it's evolved for the better but for the worse based upon misunderstandings now people look at hierarchies in this pizza up, this upside down pizza manner where the crust is sort of the bottom where all of us are and the tops where all the people who are at a higher performance or gain happen to be in. And this brings us to the conclusion that hierarchy is impossible to end because people are innately unequal, which is a truth. And there's a lot of innate inequality, but that's not the concept behind being anti-hierarchy. We've had lots of people who are against hierarchies or support some sort of equality are social Darwinists and believe in some sort of micro or macro innate superiority. Those one of those people is actually someone who you should know if you have a brain. Anybody know who this guy is? Yep, that's Frederick Engels. This theory is that <clears throat> that living uh, things have surpassed each other in evolution based upon labor. I keep in mind Marxists support the labor theory of economy and their theory is that what makes people or groups innately better than the other is labor and that's how things should be handled. That's also why cultural Marxism probably ignores the macro I mean the micro social inequalities but not the macro ones which come from people to other species as that's considered something that's natural especially since there's a lot of Marxist atheists right now and that's not necessarily a bad thing but in actuality um, the concept that there would be no hierarchies could be applied. It doesn't have to be the Marxist manner, but rather, if you look at a hierarchy, instead of being an upside down pizza as being what it actually is, which is an interconnected network, like a map, then think about it like one where there's no central port. In other words, if you look at it in the anarchist manner, think about it like saying that all these hierarchies are connected. And if you're thinking about New York, like where I live in, then think about it like the train, since trains are our network. What if 42nd Street wasn't, in fact, just the place where all the other trains meet and most of the trains happen to be in but also the hierarchy where it's a train stop and a network part that owns all the others that rules all the others if you're on top of that chain you're on the top of the other chains that would be what a hierarchy would actually be so if you were to get rid of that hierarchy and it just be that they're all happen to be near that spot, the 42nd spot where all the trains meet in that net stop for that networking. Then you would notice that <laughs> this would be a more pleasable term for hierarchy. Since an upside-down pizza doesn't really 
explain the implications of reality. In actuality, if anarchists were really all against that upside down pizza, then they would be, they would all be communists. There wouldn't be syndicalists, socialists, collectivists, or even primitivists. They're market anarchists, anarcho capitalists, uh, monarchists. There, there would be a long list. It would just be anarcho communists, the ones that don't believe in any system of property. And that would basically conclude this simple series of statements. The whole hierarchy term for upside the upside down pizza. While I'm not trying to start a definitional war, can't apply to more technical political terms. It's all just an interconnected network where there's a center, a nexus, a nexus platform, a nexus stop at 42nd Street, whatever you like to call it. That's what a hierarchy would be called if you're a technical person who's really trying to look into anarchism or just the bare necessities of any political philosophy, society, government, state or sand state, or even hierarchies.